What's going on guys? Red Dead Ron back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video and um, we're going to be talking about ability cards today guys um, but first, first things first, I just want to stop and say thank you to all you awesome viewers out there and to my subscribers. Um, this channel is brand new dudes. I'm brand new to YouTube. Um, and we just crossed over 10 subscribers on Red Dead Ron channel. And uh, we have, I think we're sitting at about seven or eight at the, on the NRP Gaming channel. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys who tune in every single day, who drop the love, and uh, who subscribe. Uh, I truly appreciate every single one of you. Um, you guys are the reason that I do this. I put these videos out there for you guys, and I truly hope that uh, that the content is good and that uh, you uh, you like it. Um, continue to grow with me. Continue to stick with me, dudes. The content is just going to get better uh, as we grow together. So I just wanted to stop and just say thank you to all you guys out there that tune in every single day. I truly appreciate you guys. So let's get into it. Ability cards. Um, ability cards, I think, are, are super overlooked. And... Uh, the, the, the reason probably is, is that the game itself does not really go into a whole lot of detail about these things. And you do not encounter them in the story mode. So, ability cards, guys, are ways to add to your character. Uh, as you can see, there's a dead eye, there's a first, second, and third passive. So, these are things that just, once you activate these cards, they will come into play and they will add to the performance or to the play style of your character now these are very important um, if they are used properly they can be very very effective depending on what you want to do so I have had some questions about what I run as far as ability cards and the build that I use and this is it right here guys as you can see um, this is what I currently run uh, for by PvP um, and I'm gonna explain it too so the reason that I go with this particular build um, is because the Varmint Rifle right now is so OP. And I'm not complaining because I use it and I, it's absolutely unreal. I love that rifle. I hope they don't nerf it. I think it's hilarious and it's awesome. Um, but I, uh, to, there is a way that you can combat th this rifle. Um, and this build that I've got in front of you guys right here will help a, a lot. So... Let's start with the first card. The Deadeye card, slow and steady. So uh, while Deadeye is active, you take a little less damage and headshots do not kill you outright. You cannot run or sprint. Now if my Deadeye is active, I'm shooting somebody anyway. I'm not running or sprinting. That's not a big deal. I don't care about that. The thing here is the headshots do not kill you outright and you take a little less damage. So while I'm in a game engaged in a gunfight, you guys, my dead eye is active. So I'm taking less damage and a headshot is not gonna just put me down. So a varmint rifle, or we're already starting to combat the varmint rifle already, right? Um, eye for an eye, uh, every time I get a headshot, it's gonna restore some dead eye. I use the varmint rifle. So this card is a really, really good card for me because all my kills are headshots. They have to be, it's a varmint rifle. So every time I get a kill, I'm going to put some Deadeye back in the bank. Um, which is also nice because um, you don't get special ammo. You don't get split point ammo for the Varmint Rifle. So anytime you can put a little more Deadeye uh, in there is good. It's a good thing. Um, so the other one that I like to use is Strange Medicine. Now this one here... Is, uh, is a toss-up between uh, cold-blooded, I feel like. Strange Medicine and cold-blooded, they're both very, very good. Um, they both have their ups and their downs. Uh, so Strange Medicine, you regain a little health whenever you inflict damage. Your health otherwise regenerates at half the normal rate. Um, I, you, I run with a shotgun as well. So a, a shotgun inflicts quite a bit of damage. Uh, and the Varmint Rifle a Headshot does a lot of damage. So I'm always putting health back in to myself whenever I'm doing damage. But it does regenerate a little slower. But, I mean, I don't really notice the health regeneration a whole lot. If I need health regen, I'll pop a, a piece of food or something, a canned vegetable, something something to get my health core and my health back up. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that in my satchel. 
So that's why I like strange medicine. Um, you can use cold blooded here, dudes. Um, after killing an enemy, you will regain a little health over the next five seconds. So every time you get a kill, you're going to regenerate a bunch of health a little quicker. Um, so again, it's a toss up for me between these two. Um, I like strange medicine. Um, so I went with strange medicine. Um, this one here, never without one, is probably one of the most important and overlooked cards um, that you can have, especially if you're trying to combat the vi the varmint rifle. Your hat will block one headshot and then the and then fall off. While not wearing a hat, you take more damage. Now, a lot of people get turned off by that last part. While not wearing a hat, you take more damage, dudes. If you get shot and you're and someone takes your head your hat off, you got seconds to react and return fire so i mean you're pretty much if you don't get that kill if you don't return fire and get that guy you're pretty much dead anyway so you know what i can live with that the fact is it's given me another shot it gives me a chance my hat falls off i can turn i can put my dead eye on and it gives me an opportunity to to fight but you know with this and slow and steady it gives me a really, really good opportunity to to, uh, to kill somebody that's using a varmint rifle. And they're not going to be able to kill me outright. It gives me a chance. So never without one is huge, dudes. So make sure... You, I mean, if you don't wear a hat, I mean, this card's not going to be good for you. I mean, you should wear a hat. I think pretty much everybody wears a hat. Um, and if you don't, I'd advise put one on and put this card on. Because uh, it's huge. So this little build right here, dudes, is... Uh, no, I don't want to say it's super defensive. I guess it kind of is, but um, it's it's more tailored to combat a specific play style, which is the varmint rifle. Now, depending on what you want to do and the weapons that you use and the style of play that you play, this might not be the best build for you. I mean, like, let's say you want to do uh, damage. Let's say damage is your thing. You want to do more damage. Well, you could do focus fire. Which is while Dead Eye is active, you and your team members deal more damage, right? So you could do focus fire. Uh, let's see what else would I do for damage. Um, I would probably do uh, peak condition for sure. Uh, you inflict more damage if your stamina bar is at 75% full, at least. So 75% or higher. Um, in PvP. Um, I don't I notice my stamina doesn't drain a whole lot really I mean it doesn't uh, so peak condition would be definitely on there uh, let's see what else we would put on I would put on Landon's patience probably yeah Landon's patience uh, waiting up to 15 seconds between shots increases your damage so just in, within a firefight as you're fighting somebody every 15 seconds um, if you wait to shoot, you're going to get more damage. Um, this is good at long distances. Um, not so good at short distances because you're going to be popping shots off quicker. Um, but still, it's nice to have if you're if you're in a good spot and you're sniping people with the varmint rifle. Every 15 seconds, you're going to get more damage. Um, so let's we can put that guy on. Uh, and then the last card, I would definitely go with Winning Streak. Um each consecutive shot on the same target does a little more damage than the last. So as you can see, dudes, um, this card, this build is not specifically just for a varmint rifle. If you use a Lancaster or a Litchfield or the bolt action where it might take you a couple shots to down somebody, this one here is is a good build for damage, right? So it's just, it all depends on what you guys want to do and how you guys play. Um, so go definitely go in and look at these read them uh, like some of these I can I don't need like your lasso chokes your enemies dealing a little less damage or a little damage to them for every second they're lassoed I don't care about that I, I don't go around lassoing people especially in PvP um, so like I'm not gonna buy that card right um, so go through these look at these guys read them maybe you like to rip around on your horse um, and and horseman is one that you really want right maybe uh you're a really big pve guy maybe you're not a pvp dude you like to just roam around in free roam maybe horseman is a good one for you to have right uh it just depends on what you want to do this really helps you make your character more specific to what your play style is and what you're trying to accomplish 
So uh, definitely I recommend dudes that you use these ability cards, you know, do some research on them on builds. Um, like I said, I gave you guys a couple options. Um, if you're in PVP and you're tired of the varmint rifle killing you, uh, I definitely recommend going with that build that I showed you guys at the beginning and I will put it back on just for now. So it's slow and steady. And um, what else are we going to put on there? Slow and steady. Eye for an eye. I can't even, I can't even find these right now. They're there. Eye for an eye. We're going to also go with strange medicine. And finally, never without one. This build right here, dudes, is an awesome PvP build. I highly recommend this build if you're if you're getting picked off by varmint rifles and headshots all the time. This build should help you guys with that. So uh, that's up. Uh, ability cards in a nutshell, dudes. Um, it's really just a way to build your build your character up the way that you want them, the way that you play. Um, so it's just a nice way to complement your play style. So that's it for me, dudes. I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you found this helpful. Um, I truly hope that this sheds a little bit of light on the ability cards for you guys. And, uh, you know, I hope this helps you in your PvP and your PvE adventures uh, in free roam. So, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, if you guys liked this video, please make sure you drop a like down below. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, so you can stay up to date on all my content that's going to be coming out in 2019. Uh, I mean, we're almost halfway through January already, dudes. It's the 7th already. Crazy. Uh, we're already a week into 2019. Um, so, again, guys, much love. Thank you again for the views, the subs. Uh, and keep them coming, dudes. Uh, I do this for you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. So uh, that's it for me. Stay classy, everybody. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.